So congratulations for finishing the beginner rails tutorial on Go Rails. That was quite the project. We started from the very basics and worked our way into some complicated things like OAuth and background workers. And even deploying to production is actually a lot more complicated than it might expect. So where do you go from here? Well, take a look at the other videos that I have on Go Rails. Almost 400 videos. I'm sure we'll be over 400 by the time some of you watch this. And we always are posting new things about the latest versions of Rails, new techniques, and how to add all kinds of different features to your Rails app. And also, follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm at EXCID3 on pretty much everything. So you can find me there and on GitHub. And uh, send me a tweet if you succeeded and made it through this, this app. Um, and also check out our podcast, Remote Ruby. So if you want to just stay up to date on Ruby things that are going on, listen to Remote Ruby. And my challenge to you is to go add some features like LinkedIn, Facebook, and other social media support so you can post to those as well in your app. And see if you can upload images or maybe video alongside of your tweets. And also maybe add tweet storms so you could post five tweets at once instead of just one. And if you really want to take it the extra distance, you can add billing and actually charge for your service because that's exactly what Buffer does. So you could build your own version of Buffer that you know could be $10 a month or something instead. It's entirely up to you, but this is a really great foundation to go build a complete app. And even if you get no customers, Building all those features really teaches you a lot about how production websites really have to get built. All those little details mean a lot. So that's it for this video and tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know on Twitter if you did, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Peace.